Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Insights with Dylan White. It's day three, 100 day LinkedIn challenge. And today we are going to navigate something that I've been asked numerous times throughout the last now three years of my social media posting and LinkedIn life. Just what is tech sales and what are the different variants of different roles and the different uh, organizations in which you can do tech sales for. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. It's going to be a good one. All right, guys, let's get into it. It's going to be a good one. Like I said, what is tech sales, right? There are so many different ways for you and as an individual to get into tech sales and the roles we'll dive into in another video a couple days from now. Um, but for now, I kind of want to just dive into what is tech sales and what are kind of the different avenues that we'll see organizations go into. So again, technical sales is really just any kind of product vendor that involves technology and you're selling it to an organization, right? The organization could be in any vertical from healthcare to manufacturing to transportation to retail um, all across the globe, right? That is tech sales, right? You're selling a technical product or solution to the company. Simple, right? What we're going to go over now is just the different ways that we go about it and some different acronyms that you might hear in the industry, right? So first off, we have what is called an OEM, right? Otherwise known as always an Oscar, E is an Echo, M is in Mike, and OEM, otherwise known as the original equipment manufacturer, right? A lot of times you hear that in obviously manufacturing at cars, Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, whatever, right? For tech, it's no different, right? You have the original equipment manufacturer, think of firewalls, think of hardware devices, right? So we can think of like a Yubico for YubiKeys, you can think of a Palo Alto firewall, you can think of Microsoft Surface, right? Those are OEM vendors, right? Lenovo laptops. That you could work directly for the OEM, right? Selling that product, right? That, so that device, that Surface device, that Lenovo laptop, the pink pads, yada, yada, yada. You get it, right? And then we have an independent software vendor, right? Again, this can be that same very company, like could have a product, right? That is not a physical product that you can actually open, touch, feel, but it could be something virtual, right? It could be something that you install on your computer, you install on, on hardware, etc. right? So, Independent software vendor, think of those as your Okta, your Microsoft 365 tools, right? Think of those as your Salesforce, your ServiceNow. Think of those also. Palo has independent software, right? Wiz, independent software, all kinds of different software tools. There's millions out there. ChatGPT, OpenAI, right? independent software vendor. Right? Those are all ISVs, right? And then we get into the crowd space that I've called home for the last decade that I love. Um, I know some people that work at OEMs and ISVs, they're just different plays, right? So I work with what's called the channel, right? We help the OEMs and the ISVs of the world scale their product to the world, right? So we have our own customers that we resell those products to. In the channel, you'll have different methods of channel sellers, right? So sometimes you'll have just a reseller, right? They literally just take in a service now, hand that off to a customer, right? And you go keep it pushing. They're just trying to get the, the lowest price to the customer with the least amount of margin, right? They, they don't really add any value, added values. They're just a reseller, right? A distributor, sometimes also called as a disti, is the same thing, right? They're usually a marketplace of different licenses, products, and solutions that they got. Been able to negotiate a great price for customers around the world to go procure from. Right? So the difference at where you buy from most organizations depends on your size of your business, right? You're only going to be able to go to the OEM or the ISV and get a really good price the larger your business is. If you're a small business, right, usually you're going to go to a DISTI because they provide you the best price for your value. Okay? And then you also have what are known as resellers, right? And added value resellers at that, which is called VAR, right? V as a Victor, Alpha, Romeo, right? VAR. So value added reseller. Nine times out of ten, not only will they provide the hardware or the software, but they're going to put some services on top of it. Maybe that's managed services, maybe that's deployments and implementation services or training, some type of value add on top of that. Okay, let me get to the last one, the one that's been kind of the biggest boom over the last, we'll call it 10 to 15 years, um, and that is the solutions integrator, right? And they are taking and stitching solutions for organizations, right? We call those trusted advisors. I work for a solutions integrator. We help companies around the world integrate multi faceted solutions into their greater ecosystem of business, making transformative 
ideas, right? And bring them actually into realization, right? We help the business transform from one place to another, right? So think of that as how we would integrate and implement, let's call it ServiceNow Microsoft Dynamics. Maybe it's Microsoft 365 with Palo Alto, right? Maybe it's Microsoft 365 with Okta. Maybe it's, we're doing Okta Wiz and we're gonna drop some AWS on into it, right? We are helping companies implement solutions at scale. And we help understand those finite, right? There's millions of different variation of these companies around the world that you can work at and there's all kinds of different roles embedded into each right it's just a different way in which you go about business so hopefully with this video you guys have earned sort of a little bit more about what we have to deal with in tech sales the acronyms are crazy for some of these vendors have acronym playbooks right um so i'm very excited to start talking with you about these different methods and methodologies again as I've said, as we go on this challenge, hopefully you guys learn something. I'm just doing it just to be consistent and hopefully give you guys some extra value. If you have any questions about any of the videos I post, please let me know in the comments. Please, if you have questions about how I got into my journey, if you want to know more about any partner stuff or any OEM providers, let me know. I'd be glad to always help whenever you reach out. If you just like the content, it'd be great if you just hit a like and subscribe, follow along, let me know where you want me to go next. Tomorrow we're going to dive into something I'm even more passionate about than this work thing that we call it is all about mental health from tomorrow. Um, and I just want to share a little bit about that journey with you guys as well. So until then, we'll leave you on what my favorite tagline has become, right? Yesterday was history. Today is a gift. Tomorrow is a mystery, right? Let's just embrace the day we have, which is today. Right? Every day is a gift. My kids tell me all the time, a gift is just getting to be around care about. So hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. Until then, peace love.